What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. My voice is actually hoarse. <clears throat> so bear with me. But anyway, today I will be showing beginners how to do makeup because I'm a beginner myself. So I'm just gonna get straight into it so I ain't gotta do all that talking right now. Basically show you this is basic four-step way. Eyebrows, lashes, lipstick, foundation, and you just go on about your day. So just stay tuned, comment, like, subscribe if you're new. This page is for everything. Makeup, hair, clothes, pranks, funny videos, book bangs, and all the above. <clears throat> With that being said, So today I will actually be starting with my eyebrows with my magic eyebrow gel 24 hour long lasting collection that I got from a local beauty store. So oh god that is so fast. I must got this on speed and gazelles. But anyway, what I do is I brush all my hairs up first, which is what you're supposed to do. And my basic technique step that I took from another YouTuber was to basically outline or basically draw your eyebrow line. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going underneath and basically just drawing my line. Um, and I'm going to do the same for the top. Basically, I do not have that much eyebrow dip on there. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to dip some more in a sec. Yep. Anyway, with that being said, I basically draw a line and I get my eyebrows basically drawn in. From there, I start to fill. As you see, I'm starting from the bottom to the top and I'm basically just filling in the empty space to darken up my eyebrows. I personally do not like my eyebrows dark, so sometimes I do a little natural or medium to dark, but I do not like mine too, too dark. I like it to look very natural. Cause I'm not too much of a make of a makeup person yet, so you know, want everything just look natural. Um, I used to just draw one little line at the end of my eyebrows, but I was told to make it thick. And then when I get my concealer, I'll be able to basically block out the excess of anything else. So today I go fill it in again. Sometimes I do bottom to top, like I said, or top to bottom. And then if I do top to bottom, I'll just take my spoolie and brush it right back up. So this morning, I'm not going to lie, I am very much in a rush because I had a test this morning. So it may look very rushed or not as neat, but I'm going to do the same for this side, which is to draw my line of my eyebrow that I want and fill in from there. Um, my normal technique was to start from the end of my eyebrow and like kind of like draw it to the arch, but I used to not have my eyebrows as twins or sisters so it didn't really look right because I can tell by my eyebrows that they are totally different like I have two totally different eyebrows like one is more arched than the other <laughs> but anyway with that being said I'm almost done with my eyebrows I'm so sorry about my voice y'all I hope I'm not annoyed at all because my voice is gone but I really want a video for you guys so just bear with me and all so with that being said because I keep dipping my eyebrow gel um I don't have much of it left in there and on top of that it's broken so it's really hard and it's kind of dry so there's my eyebrows they don't look too much alike but once I conceal it it'll be good enough and doable for the day so this is just for beginners and if you have any tips for me and you're like a not a beginner please comment below and help me out because anything will help so right now is this pro concealer plus hd foundation blendable two in one corrector which is long lasting perfect match um i honestly do not know where i got this from because i want to say my friend gave this to me but i'm pretty sure i've seen this at a local beauty store or walgreens walmart whoop -de -whoop. um i personally like to go to um beauty stores because they're more cheaper so what I basically do is I start from the bottom as I already did and I just outline it out perfectly you do not want to mess up or go over anything so just do it perfectly um, like I said I was told to make my ends thick and then just make a 
perfect point at the end. I personally like this concealer slash foundation because it has a brush that go with it. Some people don't like this and they like to go get the um, eyebrow brush. But I personally like this because you can just, you know, squeeze it and it's there. And you have a brush to perfectly guideline it the way you want it. Um, with this eyebrow I'm doing right now, you're going to see that I'm going to probably mess up at the end. But it's perfectly fine. I'm just going to get it together and right for you guys um because i what you will basically see is go over my eye more my eyebrows more than i'm supposed to so right here i'm starting to realize that i messed up but i'm just like okay whatever i'm just gonna start blending and then getting everything together so i take this little blender or i don't know what you guys call it but i call it my little blender and what I do is kind of, kind of dab up and then I'll swipe around. I just don't want to mess up my eyebrows. So just be careful when you're doing this part. So I'm doing the same for the other side. I'm going up real nicely. And then I'm dabbing. And then I'm just going to smooth it out. So I'm finishing up right now. My phone's talking about around storage. But oh well. And now I'm just filling in any extras that look like it needs to be done. So it's kind of really hard kind of doing this when you have concealer on. So hopefully you didn't mess up as much. But if you did mess up, see any mess ups, just fix it right when you're done. So there I go. Everything's together. So now I'm going to get my lashes. If I can find them. Just wait. <laughs> so anyway, I use these 3D um, mink lashes. I like to look for any gold and black packages because I feel like they're more better. They're more longer and stuff like that as well. But it works fine. So I couldn't find my lash glue. But this is my lash glue. Actually, it's hair glue, but I use it for my lashes, nothing else, nothing more. So, I use hair glue, and I use a nice little Q-tip, and I just dab it in there, and I put it on my eyelash, and I go on about my day. So, this is my first time putting lashes on without looking at a mirror. So, I'm looking at my phone, and I'm looking at the camera on my MacBook. So, just bear with me. So, what I do is I basically put it on very lightly, so I'm able to move it around to get it where it needs to be. Um, I don't always put lashes on perfectly all the time. Well, sometimes I really do. But since I'm looking at a mirror, it's like, bear with me. So, what I'm doing is moving around to where it needs to be. And after this, I'm going to look in the mirror to make sure it's fine before I go on about my day. So, what I'm doing is finna check out the next one and get that on. But I had a little extra excess of hair glue on from the last time where so I'm taking that off. Um, I like for it to look very brand new, so if you have too much hair glue on it, just take it off and redo it, because they are reusable. So, that being said, I'm putting that on, and what I'm going to do the same thing what I did with the right eye. I am going to put it on lightly so I can guide it where it actually needs to be. So, with that being said, I'm going to stop this video and then come back when it's done on correctly because I have to wipe some off. So there you go. I got it back. The right one looked a little off, but like I told you, I got test in the morning, so I'm gonna go straight into it. There you go, my um primer. I actually have dry skin, but I think primer is mostly for oily skin, so I barely use it. But since I'm using foundation and people use it for foundation, that is why I'm using it. So the foundation I'll be using today is a 332 Golden Caramel Foundation. It's a Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. Um, what I do is, is put it on my hand and I just dab it on my face. Just little dots going around. I don't do not need that much foundation because if you put too much on, you're going to start to look a little ashy. And that's not the look I'm going for. So basically, I just going to take my blender again and I'm just going to blend it in, dab it, and then wipe it around so it get all over my face. I don't know if you can see, but I can see it clearing up and giving that makeup look that I have going on. It's not clearing up any bumps, but it's making my face more popping out and, you know, doing what a foundation does. I could have basically used my concealer, but I didn't because since I don't have a lot, I use that just for my eyebrows. So, with that being said, I will be using a lip liner. This is a burgundy lip liner that I have got, but I really normally use brown. So what I'm doing is trying to get my lip liner to the top the best way as possible. And you have to put it mostly at the end or it's not going to look correct. 
I would normally just put on lip gloss, but since I'm making a makeup tutorial for beginners, I will put on some lipstick. So this lipstick right here is actually a matte new lipstick from number 61 from Milani, Malay, whatever you want to call it. So the body is done. Simple, simple. So oh, my video started tripping, my phone basically is running out of storage, so that's how I create my own little baby hairs, which is I took a little small piece from the front, you see it go lay down, and basically, you know, I'm on my day. So now I'm done, this is just a basic video for, you know, makeup for beginners because I'm a beginner. <coughs> voice is actually gone I already know I got a natural deep voice raspy voice but baby today it ain't it it just ain't it so basically I'm done for the day if you guys are watching stay tuned and wait for more videos because I need to get back to it so basically the eyebrows lashes foundation lipstick and I'm out I have a test in a couple minutes, so I just really rushed this, guys. I rushed, I rushed this whole video for y'all, basically. So, still natural, still cute, and I'm out. You know what free is, nigga? What's free? Free is when nobody else can tell us what to be.